Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Presley here in our Freilands Library. Look at our library, isn't it great? Hey, you know what boys and girls, if you ever wanna check out books from our library, you still can even with distance learning. All you need to do is either go on to our homepage and go to the library and go into Destiny. And inside there, you can check out books by either um, going to the author, the subject, or the title. Put that in and you can put books on hold that we can then get to you during our learning material time, uh, pickup time. Also, if you want, if you know the title or the author um, or the kind of books that you'd like, all you need to do is just send your teacher an email and we can work on getting those books to you that way. Again, we got tons of books in here. We got almost 15,000 books and they don't wanna just sit here on the shelves, right? They wanna be read by you. And just so you know, kindergartners got to come in yesterday as part of their learning. Now that we have kindergartners back, they're gonna be coming in on Thursdays, and they came in and they got to check out three books from the library. So if you'd like to check out books, we'd encourage you to please either email your teacher or go into our homepage and then go to the library and then Destiny and go and you can get books and put them on hold and we'll get them checked out to you and get them in your hands, usually during the Monday learning material pickup time. And if there's other times that, um, because you can't come at that time, we can make it work. We can get books in your hands um, from our library because I'd rather than be in your hands reading than just sitting on the shelves. But you know what? I've got a great book from our library today that I'd like to read with you. It's called Amazing Grace. That's right. And so I'd like to read it to you. And then if you don't want to check it out later, you can do so. This is Amazing Grace by Mary Hoffman. It's a very colorful book. Look at that. Here's the title page. Amazing Grace by Mary Hoffman. Pictures by Caroline Bench. Grace was a girl who loved stories. She didn't mind if they were read to her or told to her or made up in her own head. She didn't care if they were in books or movies or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved stories. After she had heard them, and sometimes while they were still going on, Grace would act them out, and she always gave herself the most exciting part. Would you do that? Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc and wove a wicked uh, web as Anasi the spider. She hid inside the wooden horse at the gates of Troy. She went exploring for lost kingdoms. She sailed the seven seas with her peg leg and a parrot. Boy, she's pretty creative, isn't she? She was Hiawatha sitting by the shining big sea water. And Mowgli in the backyard jungle. Looks just like Mowgli, huh? Most of all, Grace loved to act out adventure stories and fairy tales. When there was no one else around, Grace played all the parts herself. She set out to, she set out to seek her fortune with no companion but her trusty cat and found a city with streets paved in gold. Or she was Aladdin rubbing his magic lamp to make the genie appear. Sometimes... She could get Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy. Then she was Dr. Grace and their lives were in her hands. You ever done that? Look at Ma with uh, her leg wrapped and her head wrapped. And here she's using a pretend stethoscope checking Nana's heart. <laughs> I bet you've done that before at home, huh? I have. When I was a kid, that was fun. One day, Grace's teacher said they would do a play called Peter Pan. Grace knew who she wanted to be. When she raised her hand, Raj said, you can't be Peter, that's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter Pan, whispered Natalie, he isn't black. But Grace kept her hand up. All right, said the teacher, lots of you want to be Peter, so we'll have auditions next week to choose parts. She gave them words to learn. Look at all the kids wanting to be Peter Pan. So they're gonna do auditions. That's where they come in and they read the part and they try out for it. 
When Grace got home, she seemed sad. What's the matter? asked Ma. Raj said I can't be Peter Pan because I'm a girl. That just shows what Raj knows, said Ma. A girl can be Peter Pan if she wants to. Grace cheered up. Then later she remembered something else. Natalie says, I can't be Peter Pan because I'm black, she said. Ma looked angry. But before she could speak, Nana said, it seems that Natalie is another one who don't know nothing. You can be anything you want, Grace, if you put your mind to it. On Saturday, Nana told Grace they were going out. In the afternoon, they caught a bus and train into town. Nana took Grace to a grand theater. The sign outside read, Rosalie Wilkins in Romeo and Juliet in sparkling lights. Are we going to the ballet, Nana? asked Grace. We are, honey, but first I want you to look at this picture. So they're looking at the picture. Grace looked up and saw a beautiful young ballerina in a tutu. Above the dancer, it said, Stunning New Juliet. That one is little Rosalie from back home in Trinidad, said Nana. Her granny and me, we grew up together on the island. She's always asking me, do I want tickets to see her Rosalie dance? So this time I said yes. After the ballet, Grace played the part of Juliet, dancing around her room in her imaginary tutu. I can be anything I want, she thought. On Monday, the class met for auditions to choose who was best for each part. When it was Grace's turn to be Peter, she knew exactly what to do and all the words to say. She'd been Peter Pan all weekend. She took a deep breath and imagined herself flying. When it was time to vote, the class chose Raj to be Captain Hook and Natalie to be Wendy. There was no doubt who would be Peter Pan. Everyone voted for Grace. You were fantastic, whispered Natalie. Look at her, it's Peter Pan. The play was a big success and Grace was an amazing Peter Pan. After it was all over, she said, I feel as if I could fly all the way home. You probably could, said Ma. Yes, said Nana, if Grace put her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. That's the end of the story. There's the back cover. This is a story called Amazing Grace. It's a great book. I hope that you think about checking it out and any of the other awesome books that we have at our school. What are you reading today? What are you reading tonight? We'd love for you to share with your classmates what you enjoy reading and share with us too. Again, we've got tons of library books here and I'd love to get them in your hands. So check with your teacher send an email or go on to our website and to our library page and see about putting some books on hold for you and we can get books in your hands. You can bring them back, we can get new books in your hand and we can start our library circulation. So again, I hope you enjoyed Amazing Grace. I enjoyed it and if you like, you can check it out too. All right, happy reading.